Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Young Sheldon's Georgie and Mandy spinoff has already created a weird plot hole. Now that Georgie and Mandy's first marriage has recast Young Sheldon's Connor, the spinoff has inadvertently created its first major canon plot hole. Young Sheldon left many Big Bang Theory plot holes unfixed when the series ended in May 2024. The spinoff might have justified Mary's turn toward intense religious piety in the wake of her husband George Sr.'s untimely death, but young Sheldon failed to explain why Sheldon never mentioned Paige, Dr. Sturgis, or Dale in the Big Bang Theory. At least one major canon mystery was left unsolved on purpose, so the show's spinoff would have a focus. The upcoming Young Sheldon spinoff Georgie and Mandy's first marriage will finally explain why Sheldon's brother Georgie and his first wife Mandy separated. This was confirmed the first time viewers met Georgie in the Big Bang Theory Season 11, Episode 23, The Sibling Realignment. There, Georgie referred to his ex-wife, thus clarifying that he and Mandy eventually separated. However, young Sheldon has since depicted the duo as a loving, healthy pair whose occasional conflicts are always resolved with care. This means that Georgie and Mandy's first marriage will need to explain how young Sheldon's happy couple came to their inevitable end. This might be difficult considering Georgie and Mandy's first marriage has already caused its first major young Sheldon plot hole by bringing back Mandy's brother, Connor. Briefly seen in Season 6, Episode 12 a baby shower and testosterone-rich banter. Connor was a sensitive artist who was at odds with the rest of the McAllister clan. Although Connor was originally played by Joseph Apollonio, Georgie and Mandy's first marriage cast Doji Baldwin as Connor for the new spinoff. This leads to the question of where Mandy's brother was while Mandy and Georgie lived with her parents in Young Sheldon Season 7. When Connor was first introduced, there were passing references to his study of art and subsequent poor employment prospects. Judging by TV Line's announcement of Baldwin's casting, these elements of Connor's character remain intact in Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. There, Baldwin's take on the supporting character is called the talented eyeball with musical prowess who still lives with his parents. This raises the question of why viewers never saw Connor throughout the latter half of season 7 after Georgie and Mandy moved in with the McAllister family. Fortunately, Georgie and Mandy's first marriage's pilot episode can easily explain away this discrepancy. Young Sheldon's spinoff could reveal that Connor was still attending college during the events of Season 7, with the character moving into his family home in the pilot. It was implied that Young Sheldon's version of Connor already graduated from college in his lone Season 6 appearance, but the character has already been recast, so this minor change isn't a huge problem for the spinoff. Connor moving back in makes more sense than Georgie and Mandy's first marriage revealing that he always lived in the McAllister house since this would shake up the family's routine and make young Sheldon's spinoff more dramatic.